Hello, what's up everybody? This is Joey from Forte Courses and I wanted to do a quick video explaining to you about neural filters within Adobe Photoshop 2021. This is a newer feature uh, released at the beginning of 2021 and it uses the power of Adobe Sensei, which is a machine learning algorithmic learning process to uh, help you with tedious tasks quickly and efficiently. So using their artificial intelligence, the best way I have come to describe it is if you think about um, skin smoothing in Facebook video, Instagram, or Snapchat, those filters that people create, Adobe is sort of using that same kind of technology right within Photoshop. So I'm looking forward to more advanced features to come uh, as the algorithm gets more powerful and Adobe integrates this into their products more. But today we're gonna take a look at our JPEG artifact smoothing. So I've got a prepared vector image within Photoshop, and some of you will probably have a situation where a client gives you a product or an image that is pretty bad off. Um, in this case, we've got a wonderful illustration for our Super 8 course by our very own Joel Cockrell. Um, and you know, typically you want the actual vector files, but you, sometimes you just don't get those, right? So I have gone ahead and compressed this heavily uh, using Photoshop and you can see here we've got some pretty bad pixelation a lot of artifacting um, Especially around the text so in order to access the filters What you want to do is go up to the top section grab filters and then uh, right here We've got neural filters now if this is the first time you're using them you will have to download some uh, files to get access to them, uh, but they're pretty small, and most of them process right in your computer, although some require uploading an image to the cloud. So what we're gonna look at first is this JPEG artifacts removal. So I'm gonna turn that on. And there's simply one option, the strength of the uh, filter and high seems to do the best so we're gonna uh, leave it there I'll show you before and after here so on the left let me zoom in a little bit more um, you can see that banding has gone away the artifacting here's a before wow I uh, got a lot of cubes in there but using the removal it just takes it right out we don't have to do any uh, up sampling or use any third-party plugins especially on the text here uh, we can see it's much much better um, perhaps it'll it smooths something out a little too much you can go into the strength and take it down to low and I'll show you the difference here okay so you can see it a little bit there it's a um, still better at the low setting than without. And then what we'll wanna do is output this visual. Um, typically, I just leave it on new layer. You can also duplicate the layer and mask out all of the elements that are being unaffected um, or smart filter so we can go back and make adjustments. Uh, since this is not really doing much or there aren't a whole lot of options in this drop down I would just leave it on new layer rather than smart filter and I like new layer because it is non-destructive unlike current layer so let me click OK and when we output this it will um, actually only Send, send, send out the pixels that have been adjusted. So uh, you do need to make sure you keep that background option on there, no color adjustments in between, um, or merge these two together. It's a really nice feature. Uh, this, of course, can also be used on photographs. So here's a nice photo that my brother Joshua Wright took of me. Uh, and again, I have compressed this way, way down in this next version. Pixels, look at them. Um, and I'll zoom in on the face here. You can really see a lot of problems, um, especially in the bricks, right? The lines don't even line up almost, which is quite a shame. Uh, so let's see what Adobe Neural Filters can do on this. Let me pop down the filter. I'm going to go to Neural Filters. And once again, I will choose 
the JPEG artifact removal. And it's going to start analyzing the image here. And you can see it's much, much better. We still have some artifacting, but uh, the, all those little lines, all those weird things uh, are removed. And Adobe has done it again, making something really, really tedious and all, nigh on impossible. Uh, easy again. So if you ever end up getting a really low quality image from a client and you need to get it printed, this might be a way that you can kind of smooth out some of those rougher edges and get by.